Coming up on today's show, we have a sour cream bake casserole that your family's sure to love. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Rhonda Thurber. And I'm Laverne Didi. And you found a couple recipes, recipes again. You, she, Mom's just a master of going out on the internet and finding recipes. <laughs> I try. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a sour cream noodle bake. It, yes, and it's simple, but just yeah. hearty. Hearty, and, and for those people that, you know, casseroles, I can make a casserole every day and my family would be happy. And that's great, and it's always great for leftovers. Yes, absolutely. So if you wanna go ahead and cook along with us, just get a piece of paper and a pen and write down these ingredients. You'll need a one and a fourth pound ground, ground hamburger, a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, a teaspoon, excuse me, a half a teaspoon of salt, some black pepper. You're gonna need eight ounces of egg noodles, a half a cup of sour cream, one and a fourth cup small curd cottage cheese. I don't know that that really matters too much. You know, it really doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. You need a pinch of red pepper flakes, a half a cup sliced green onions or to taste, a cup of grated sharp cheddar, mm -hmm. you need sharp cheddar, and then crusty bread for for serving. If that would be just a side, you know, to serve it with, you know. If you, that's what you choose or yeah, whatever right. you'd like to go with yeah. that. You can have buns, garlic toast, anything. It, right. That's just a suggestion. And you paired this really with a nice salad. It's not what you would traditionally call, I would traditionally call a salad. It's a confetti cottage salad. Yes, isn't that, it, it, yeah. it, and it's very colorful. So you're gonna need a carton of cottage cheese, a 24 ounce carton, a large tomato, a small, or, excuse me, a cup of cucumber, a small red pepper, a small sweet yellow pepper, and then two green onions, and then some sunflower seeds. Yeah, it, it's simple, but you know, you're just dressing up this cottage cheese. It's yeah. gonna be colorful, but it's very good. Right, Very it's, it's something different than a lettuce salad or a traditional fruit salad. Absolutely. So yep. I'm excited to see how this one turns out. Okay. All right, where are we going to start? Well, we're going to come over to the stove here. I, I did put the uh, water on. The water's already boiling for the noodles. And let's get this, the hamburger. We have a pound and a half of hamburger, and I just put that on in here. And actually, I just whoops started to... Whoop, I got that's that. hot. That, yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Can't get carried away here, but you know, that's the way things go sometimes. So uh, we all know what it's like to brown hamburger. So we're going to add that uh, half a teaspoon of salt. You know, just go in here. And it says about a, a pound and a fourth a hamburger. You, it isn't anything that you have to have exactly. If you right. just have a pound or you have a pound and a half. You know, definitely make use it. And I've uh, got a little bit uh, coarser ground pepper. It says okay. coarse ground pepper or fresh ground pepper. And I'm going to put a good teaspoon of that in there because that's, you know, nice to spice that up there. Okay. So let's just get that chopped up here a little bit. Because then uh, when this is completely, the hamburger is completely cooked, uh, we're going to add our tomato sauce in there. Okay. But be sure if your hamburger is, um, you know, you got a little bit of grease in there, I would drain it and okay. that. But um, we're, I'm starting out with very lean hamburger here that um, I know that I won't have any uh, uh, grease in that at all to have to drain, which is kind of okay. nice to do. I uh, start with a, you know, a nice kettle, uh, big enough with water and get the water boiling. I did put a little salt in there. Okay. It asks for eight ounces of noodles. I've got a little bit more than eight ounces, so I'm not going to pour all that in there. It's 12 ounce package there, so that should be about right. Okay. And we want to cook the noodles um, to what they call that. Dante or El dente. El dente, not quite, you know, uh, completely soft because it's going to be cooking in, um, you know, we're going to bake it yet. So. Okay. And we did put the oven on already, uh, and it says like that 350 degrees. Okay. So we'll just get that going. And uh, it asks for a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. I don't, do. I for whatever reason, I always have the... Uh, the small small cans. cans, and it actually is eight ounces 
you know, but that's an extra ounce of tomato sauce. That's fine. You're just going to add it in there. Uh, you know, I just didn't see any reason to go ahead and, and buy a 15 ounce because it says 15 ounce. Sure. When you have those and you buy those on sale, you use what, you know, right? I know how it works, Mom. Yep. That <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this up just a little bit more. Okay. And it, it is almost cooked already, you know, just want to get that a little bit more. And, stuff. and so we're going to, you know, it's got the sour cream in there and the cottage cheese um, and a little extra, you know, cheddar cheese. It, it's just really good. And this is something that it's so easy to freeze to assemble prior. Mm -hmm. Say, you're making one. If you want to double the recipe, you could freeze one. You could put it in an aluminum foil pan or, or just whatever you'd have. And or put just, these in two smaller pans and freeze one and serve one if you have a smaller family. That Absolutely. And and just make sure that, you know, you seal it well with aluminum foil or something so it doesn't get freezer burned. Sure. But it, it's not going to freezer burn in, in uh, like a month or so. Right. But if you want to have it out there. And if you're kind of like me, sometimes you have something, you put it away in the freezer for... A rainy day and it never rains and pretty soon you forget and you look and oh my goodness we didn't use this <laughs> okay so we'll just bring that up there so just about just about done here so we're gonna just uh, get that tomato sauce in there because it, it's all cooked and it's um, not no longer pink and that's all that we we need it there so okay we're just gonna add the tomato sauce That'd be good, one that'd be good for rinsing out the can, but I don't want any extra water or liquid right. in it, so that would be. So we're going to just mix this up here. And just let that simmer a little bit uh, when, until the noodles are almost done, which doesn't take long. Okay. So we cook this, but we, we also have to put this in the oven to bake for a little We're gonna while. We're going to bake it uh, for about uh, 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Not, not too long, because um, with everything here, to, it's going to be nice and hot. We're assembling it, and we're going to put it in the oven right away. Okay. Um, there's times, you know, you might make this prior and have it in the fridge. Just add a little bit more baking time. You okay. Because you just want it nice and bubbly, whatever. So let's just... Check the noodles and um, use whatever kind of size noodles uh, you want. I just happen to have the, the wide ones here. And let's just give it a, another minute, but that's just about where we want it to be. And with all of this, none of it, it's a recipe that you don't have to worry about being exact with everything. Right. And that, that's what makes it nice. Don't worry about that exact measurement for all. It's just going to be very, very good. So just let that simmer there a little bit. Yeah. And I'm going to turn this off, and then we're going to, I'm going, I need to drain this. So I have my colander here. Okay. And we'll put that in the sink and got the burner off there. Okay, so we'll just put this right over here. And while the hamburger's going, uh, you, let's just go that a little bit. Let's spray our 9 by 13 pan. Okay. And I'm going to uh, put the noodles in here. Okay, and now with this, we're going to add the onion. And I, I do have about a half a cup of, you know, the, the green onion here, which I like. And they said just a pinch of uh, red pepper flakes. Okay. It's just going to spice that up just a little bit. So I got a little bit of that. And we're going to take a half a cup of sour cream. And we'll put that in there. And again, don't worry about measuring. Oh, with things like this, I actually like to be a little bit more generous than scant, you know, because sure. that's going to give you the flavor and all. And that, so. And when I went to get some cottage cheese, they had cottage cheese on sale, which was great. 
but they didn't have, I usually buy 2%, but I thought, for this, you know, that 4% just might be just a little extra creamier bake. So we want uh, about a cup and a fourth. Okay. So that was about a fourth there. So we're going to just put that in there. Does that look about where we would be? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I trust your measuring yeah. skills. <laughs> It's always been a little pinch of this, pinch of that. You don't have to have to measure. So let's just get this mixed up well. So it ends up to be, I mean, kind of like a, almost like a little bit of a mock lasagna, kind of, you know, with the cottage cheese in there. I mean, a lot of people use ricotta or cottage cheese to make mm -hmm. lasagna. Absolutely. But of course, I mean the sour. I mean it's sour cream for a reason. I mean there, you don't have, mm -hmm. usually have that in. That, that's right. And so I'm going to put uh, a little bit of the cheese in here. Okay. And then I'm going to top the the uh, use the rest of the cheese. Sure. Uh, to top the bake with. And when I opened up uh, my uh, package of cheese, you know I had used a little bit out of it. So I probably have about a one and a half cups here and then I'm going to just use that all you okay you don't want to waste and like we say cheese can never have too much cheese so just make sure you have a big enough bowl so you can mix that well and you know with with this here you know you don't have to uh layer it in there you're going to just mix it all together so we're okay, going to so we just put the hamburger right in we're there. going to just okay. put the hamburger right in there so we're just going to come over and get that and let's just pull out the there set it down and so that was probably cooking about five minutes we want to let that kind of all cook together simmer a little bit yes absolutely just get those flavors all blended in there and once we've got it stirred up by you, those, that tomato sauce is really cooked up well in, in mm -hmm. there. It's not a lot of excess liquid there. So okay, let's just put that in here. Yeah. And let's. And it's not a super spicy um, dish at all. No, it, it's not. And. We added the pepper flakes and uh, the ground pepper. Uh, but then, you can adjust your t it to your taste. Right. I mean, those little bit of pepper flakes. No, that's, it's, this in this big of a dish, you're not going to really notice those not, too much. Not at all. You know, so it's some people definitely like more spicy things. Sure. So that's what you're going to do. I could even see you, you know, having those red pepper flakes as. It, I mean, you have those on pizza and some mm -hmm. different dishes. You could add that to the top as well. Absolutely. Okay, so now we're going to pour that in our 9 by 13 pan here, or uh, baking dish. Okay. And like I said, it, it is a hearty dish. Mm -hmm. And that, and I think... Uh, and there's not a lot of, um, I mean, we got green onion. You can actually go ahead and just use regular onion. Sure. You wouldn't need green onion if you didn't want, just uh, for the fact that sometimes somebody sees a little bit of color in there, they think, mm. I don't like that. But, yeah. you know, you could use your regular <laughs> uh, onions. Well, it definitely adds the flavor. Yeah. So now we're going to just sprinkle the rest of that cheese on here. And um, if you don't like the sharp cheddar cheese, um, use, you know, use your regular, your mild cheese. There is sure. no reason that it uh, has to be the uh, sharper cheese if, if your family doesn't like it. You can just mix them up. You know, cheese is good no matter what you, kind you have. I agree. So we're going to just se separate, I mean, uh, spread that around. And so we'll just put that in the oven now. Okay. And we'll put the timer on for, let's, let's go for that 35 minutes. And, and if we need to have it bubbling a little bit more, then or you know, want it baked a little bit, we can add a little bit of time. So okay. we're going to do that. 
And this is gonna be so easy. Um, I do have another carton of cottage cheese in the fridge. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna set these two things back in there because we don't need them. Now, uh, one thing now anymore, it says 24 ounces of uh, uh, carton of cottage cheese. You don't get 24 ounces anymore, it's 22. Oh. You know, they're, everything is, they're cutting things back, just that little bit of, little ex, extra, you know, or, or less, same price, but you're getting less. A little bit so. less, yep. Um, those two ounces isn't going to make a difference. If you wanted to, we could, we could add, but we're not, we're actually not going to just add. We're just going to put this in here. Sure. It is so easy to, you know, put together, uh, but there's just great, wonderful ingredients to give that a crunch. And, and I can just see myself or whatever, using a little bit of ground pepper or, uh, you know, mm -hmm. very little salt. I, I've, I've learned I, I really like pepper, so I add a lot of pepper and yep. that and stuff. So, uh, well, if you have a pepper mill and you have freshly ground pepper all over that, that would be great. That'd be wonderful. Yes. So, sorry in there. Um, it says a large tomato, okay. and I use the Roma tomatoes because you don't want it too seedy or too juicy. Okay. If you happen to have a tomato that's, you know, a little more juicier seed, I would uh, seed it a little bit more so it doesn't have too much extra liquid in it. Okay. So that's what I did here. Was I used the Roma and I. Uh, and even that one, I did uh, just seed it a little bit, just and because. Drain it just yes. a little. Sure. And I, I did put all my ingredients in here. I've got a small yellow pepper, red pepper, chopped up a cucumber, and added onion. Okay. So I have all those in there. And again, you don't have to worry about having just uh, the exact amount, or whatever. So. So you're going to just mix that up here. The only thing it is, um, it is a dish that, you know, with the cottage cheese and with that vegetables in there, uh, of course, it's always the best to be able to use it right away. But, you know, even an extra day is fine. But uh, it's not going to be as good, you know, a few more days like down the road. Right. The vegetables and, would get soggy. And yes. So I can see just, it probably getting really watered down if you, if you don't eat mm -hmm. it right away. Yeah. And that's why I suggested, you know, uh, make sure your tomato is uh, seeded on that and stuff. And then we're actually going to add a third cup of sunflower seeds. Gives a okay. little extra crunch in there. Sure. So it's going to be, like I said, it's a very, when they said confetti mm -hmm. cheese salad, it, it is because you have your green, your red, your yellow, your sunflower seeds, and, and that just uh, adds really nice uh, presentation to our noodle bake. Absolutely. Yeah, and stuff, so let's just And so now it. once we have this together, I, you know, it doesn't look like we would have to chill it for any amount of time, but you definitely want to keep it chilled before you serve it. Right. Um, if uh, we were ready to eat right now, we could just put that right on the table because it doesn't have to chill, everything is cold, but Definitely uh, until our uh, hamburger noodle bake is done, we're going to put it in the fridge. Sounds good. So, Country Rose Cafe on East Fillard is open for breakfast and lunch seven days a week. Enjoy daily homemade specials, caramel and cinnamon rolls, several different kinds of homemade pies made fresh every day. Country Rose Cafe is also famous for homemade soup, including their ever popular Nefla served every Tuesday. While you're in, make sure to pick up your Channel 18 cooking crave recipes and like us on Facebook for different specials and announcements. Country Rose Cafe, the way a cafe should be, located at 837 East Villard in Dickinson. See your VA home loan expert at ENG Lending of Dickinson. Jay Wandler and the professional staff at ENG Lending provide expertise and services that are traditionally offered by the largest financial institutions, all with the local integrity of a local community bank. No wonder why ENG Lending is the area's number one choice for North Dakota veteran home loans. Visit them online at 456loan.com or call 701-250-8166 today. Okay, our buzzer is going off for our noodle bake. Um, let's see how that's looking. Okay, oh, that looks like, oh, the cheese is melted on top of that. And it's bubbling. It is, looks great. 
So we're going to just turn that off here. And we'll bring that over. It smells oh, great, great, too. You know, and uh, we'll get the cottage uh, cheese salad out or just the confetti cottage salad. And we'll that. Uh, one thing with this here, I think the original recipe, you know, had stated, you know, to go ahead and layer it if you, if you like. Now, I personally just like to blend it all in and put it in instead of put noodles and then hamburger and noodles and that. You just get a, a better mixture with it. So it's a matter of preference. So okay. whatever, you know, anybody would like there. But see, we're going to just take some of this out here. And I would really like to see this, you know, even served with like uh, breadsticks. Oh, garlic, sure. Garlic breadsticks would be pretty awesome. Breadsticks or garlic toast. Mm-hmm. That would be great Very, too. Very yes. But you know, I think we're going to put our cottage cheese salad, uh, or just cottage salad, on a separate plate instead of putting it uh, there where it gets too hot, and then we can just really. Everybody can just really see how that looks. Absolutely. I think these recipes are just great, and Mom just went on the internet and looked for these recipes, and that's all you really have to do. But please, anybody out there that has good recipes, submit them so we can cook for everyone out there. Thank you so much for joining us on Cooking Craze, and always thank you to our sponsors. Mm -hmm.